So my name's Will. I want to show you how to sell digital products on Shopify. I want to show you the whole workflow from start to finish. I'll just show you how easy it is to do it. So a bit about me. I'm a Shopify developer. I've been building stores and Shopify apps and applications for over seven years now. I've spent countless hours, thousands of hours inside of Shopify doing anything you can think of, to be honest. This is my best method and many other developers that I know on how to sell digital products on Shopify. So yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, I've already set up a store. This is a brand new store that I've just set up. All you need to do is go to shopify.com, start your free trial and it's really quick to set up and you'll end up here where I am. So what are digital products? Digital products are basically PDF courses, zip files, pictures, videos, MP3s. Pretty much any form of digital media that someone is willing to buy can be classed as a digital product. The funny thing is, Shopify don't have a built-in system for selling digital products. You need to go to the App Store and download an app that can do this for you. So the first step I want you to do is, once you're into your Shopify dashboard, go to the Apps page. And then what you need to do is go to here, Customize Your Store. So I want you to search for the app, Downloadable Digital Assets. You can also find the link in the description below. And there you see it. We'll click on that one. And the next step, I want you to go add app. Then go down to install app. So what this will do, it'll install the free plan as default. So Shopify have created their own digital downloads app and it's super outdated now. It's years old. You're very limited on a lot of things. It's got no features that help protect your digital files from being shared. So this is one of the main reasons why I created our app to make something much better from my experience from using the Shopify version and building many Shopify stores. So what I want you to do is go back to Shopify, refresh the page. So now that you'll see the apps installed. So the second step, what we want to do is we want to create products in Shopify. So we'll go to here. Click add product and let's say we're going to create a course. So let's just call it course. Don't need to do a description right now. I've prepared a product picture. And then what we'll do is set that at zero just so we can do some orders. Because we're going to be selling a digital product, we don't need to track the quantity because it's unlimited. And then here is important. This is telling Shopify that it's a digital product and not physical. So we'll need to untick this. And then we'll go to the product status, move that to active because we want to activate it. And that means it will go live on the store then. So we'll press save. And that's how you essentially create the product. What we'll do is we'll go back, we'll create another one real quick. Let's say MP3. Then we'll just put the same picture. Ah, oh, we'll put t-shirt. Right, so then we'll say zero for now. Obviously you can customize all this to suit you. Go up, make it active, save. There we go. So now we've got two products in the Shopify store. So now the third step, what we want to do is go to the apps page. And we want to open the app now, so we'll click into it. We'll go to the assets page. And here is where we're going to upload the assets. So we'll click upload new asset. So using this link, you can add assets to the app from Dropbox, from Google Drive, if you're hosting the files somewhere else. But for now, we're just going to upload them straight to the app. It's the safest and best way to do it this way. So there's two files that we can upload. So I'll select these two. Once they go green, that means they're uploaded. So then the next step would be go to the products page. And here, as you can see, all the products and variants are automatically synced from Shopify. So there's no need to create your own products inside the app. It would, it will automatically sync directly all the product information from Shopify. So the next step now is we want to attach the assets to the products. So we're going to course. So in the free plan, you can only attach one asset, which is all good for now. We'll attach course, click attach. And then we'll go back to the products page, 
we'll click on MP3. Let's say zip. We'll sell zip as the MP3. Could be like a, an album of MP3s. <laughs> and then we go back to the products page. And as you can see, the attached assets, we've got one on this product and one on this product. And that's all you need to do. That's literally set up your store to be selling digital products. So one thing I want to know is without having to set anything up, the customer will automatically receive a download email once they place an order. So next I want to go here. We might need to set up a bogus checkout. So the payment system. So we'll have to go over here, choose a provider. And then for testing, activate test bogus gateway. This will allow us to test an order so you can see the process. But if you're creating an actual store, then you're, you should set up Shopify payments or PayPal so you can actually take real orders. But for now, we're just going to use testing. We'll go back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the upgrade options, upgrade the free trial. So we'll unlock all the features that this app can do. There's a bunch of different features. So I'll scroll down. Let's go to the professional plan, change plan. So here you can see you've got a seven day free trial. And what we'll do is approve that. So now you can see we've got the full the full plan. What we'll do is we can go to the settings page and we're going to set some settings up so we're ready to do a test order. As you can see here, you can import all previous orders that your store has had before installing this app. Obviously, we have no orders on the store, so we don't need to press that. Um, what I'd like to do, though, is to display the download links on the checkout page. That is the page after someone's purchased the product and they'll bring you to a thank you page and then the download links will show on that page. We'll tick that. And then why not? We can display the download links in the customer accounts. We'll do that one too. And then we'll press save. Okay, back to products. So now we've attached the assets to the products. Essentially, if these products get ordered, your customers will receive a download email instantly. So we'll go back to the store. We'll click the eye icon that brings us to the storefront. Go to catalog. And let's just say we'll order both of them. Go back to catalog, go here, order. There you go, go to the cart. See, I've got both products in there, let's check out. So here's where we'll type in all the information. We we'll use this email to show you the process. We'll put a random address. Go to payment, complete order. So there we have it. So now you've seen we've placed the order. So this is the download box that we enabled in the settings before. This thank you page box is only available on the paid plans, but the download emails are sent to the customers on every plan, including the free one. So it's quite good actually. So you can actually customize what it says here and you can actually add more text. So if we go to here, I'll show you quickly. Go to settings. So it's here. You have unlimited number of downloads. There we go. Go down, press save. And you can actually refresh the page and it should just show. There you go. So you can customize what you want to tell your customers here, which is great. You can tell them if they've got a limited amount of downloads because you can add limitations on. If we go back here, you can see you can set a number of days. You can tell them how many days until their order expires. You can set a limit. You can restrict the customers to only download from a number of IP addresses. This feature is really good to actually prevent customers from sharing links with others. Um, we can download zip. So zip one. And it's literally as simple as that. So this is just the thank you page that we set up before. Your customer will always receive a download email unless you disable them in the settings. You can see that the email has been delivered it's from my store, which is the store name that I'm using. Click on it. And there's the basic email template. So we can actually customize this template any way you want. The way to do that is you go to the app, go to settings, go down here to edit email templates. And there you have it. This is where you can customize the email templates. So you can do all sorts in the email templates. You can change the from name. You can change the subject line. So you can even see if I do download. So you can say, hi, customer name, space, space, download. 
little files here. Insert links. Thank you for working with us. You can even edit the HTML, which is in here, but that's more for like techie developers or something. And you can also add your company logo if you want to by using this image button here. We click this. So what we need to do is host it on Shopify. So we need to go here, down to settings, go to files. I'm going to upload your company logo. So I've got one here as an example. And there you go. It's loaded up. So you'd copy the link. Then you go back to the app. You paste it in the source box. You can just say logo for the alternative description. Press save. And what you can do is just drag that smaller so it suits your style. You can center it if you want to. And that's all you need to do. You press save. You can send a test email to yourself if you want to. We'll do that now. Email has been sent. So we'll go up here. And we'll refresh the inbox. And there you go. You can see the new email test that's come through. Click on it. And there you go. Just a basic rundown how to add your bits and bobs. Press inbox. So that's how you set up an email. And then that's everything. That's all you need to do. So another thing I want to show you is if we go to the orders page, you can see the order here now. So you can see all the different features that the app shows in the order. So what we've got here is you can see the customer name. I've only put WS for now, it's my initials. You can see the email, you can change the email in case they wrote the email wrong. You can see the ordered products, see that it was paid. You can see the order time it was placed. You can set an expiration. If the customers have done anything bad, they're sharing the download emails to other people, then you can block it here by using the expiration. So we also read the fraud analysis from Shopify. So there's low, medium and high risk. So of course you can see here it's low risk. So if you go here, I'll show you in the settings. So if the orders come in as high risk or medium, we can actually change the setting here to block the downloads to any medium or high or just high risk orders. So Shopify deem an order as high risk, we can block the download emails from being sent until you investigate further that it's a genuine order. So that's another great feature that this app has that no other app has on the Shopify app store. This has actually been life-saving for myself on many of my stores now, because if you get a high risk order, you want to make sure that they don't get the downloads until you, you are sure that it's a, a genuine order. So you can see when the download email was sent, if we scroll down, you can see the assets that were involved, how many times they've been downloaded, how much bandwidth they've used. You can see the traffic, you can see the IP address, again, the bandwidth, and then you can see the email tracking. This is another feature that no other digital downloads app on the Shopify app store has. So you can see here, you you can see the email that was sent or the, the email that it was sent to. You can see that it was processed. It was then delivered. It was then opened four times by the customer. As you can see, we opened it four times basically. So you can attach additional assets to the order and it would add them to the list. Then you can resend the download email if you want to add more files or add personalized products to the order. There's a big range of things you can do actually. It's really good. So we go back to the orders and there you have it. That's exactly how you can sell digital products on Shopify, super easy. So that's another great thing about this app as well. So what it does is Essentially, the app works with both physical and digital product stores. It automatically fulfills all the digital products that are in an order. So if there's physical, they will stay unfulfilled. And if they're digital, they will be automatically fulfilled. It completely automates the whole process. Once you've installed, it's as simple as uploading your assets, attaching them to the products, and then doing your marketing for the store. Oh, and one really important thing to note, from my experience of building Shopify stores over the years, if an app has good support and connected, it really makes a difference when an app support team get back to you really quickly. So one of my most important things with building these Shopify apps is having really good support. So if you ever get stuck or need any help with the app, literally just fire us a message through the support page on the app and we'll get back to you ASAP because I know how important it is to have a good support system you'll be speaking directly to the app developers, which is me and Ben, and we'll help you as much as we can. So there you have it.
That's how you sell digital products on Shopify. Super simple.